Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 22HE. This is a great little traveler, you don't have any slides on this coach, which means you have full and easy access to everything that you see inside here. So if you need to make a stop so you can get into the refrigerator or use the bathroom, this floor plan allows you to do that very easily. Let's start off right here on the kitchen. So what you'll notice is you have the single bowl sink with the high-rise pull-out faucet. So even though it's not a huge sink, you do get the larger faucet there. So it is uh, pretty easy still to wash and rinse your dishes, again, even though it just has the single basin. Right next to that, however, is your full-range uh, three-burner cooktop right here. It is the Furion cooktop with the glass cover, so you do have this as prep space. Fold it up and back to access those burners. That also doubles as a backsplash. You'll see the knobs do light up. You can turn it off if you so choose. And then you have the oven underneath for some baking. Drawers all around. You'll notice the large one right underneath the oven. And then a bank of drawers right next to that. This top one is just a fold down because you have the sink right here. Obviously, you can't have a drawer fit back there. You'll also notice you have pop-up countertop extension here just to give you a little bit of extra prep space. As I mentioned, you do have all the cooktop here, but that just gives you that little bit more. If you take a look right down here, you will notice your lights. You'll also see your battery disconnect, and right underneath that is solar prep with a controller there. So that way, if you want panels on the roof, everything is already pre-wired for it, and as, I, as you uh, saw there, the controller is built in as well. Cabinets all along the top here. Right above the door, you'll see this one. You'll also notice that you have your Blu-ray player there. So if you want to watch a movie, uh, having the Blu-ray player in there is fantastic. I'll show you the TV in a little bit when we go up front. But I like the fact they put in a Blu-ray, not just a DVD player. You'll also see that you have an adjustable shelf right here. Gotta love that. And then storage above the microwave as well. Notice because it is a, um, a top swinging door or top opening that it has the strut on here for easy one hand operation. Microwave right there, of course, as I mentioned. Taking a step back a little bit further is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. We'll open that up for you. You can see you have plenty of room there. A couple uh, drawers down underneath. This one does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over. Then right down underneath here is where they put the trash can. Now, you know, if you don't want your trash can there, obviously you can take it out, use it for whatever else. But I do like the fact that you know, they still tried to give you a spot to put the trash can, even though they weren't able to fit it directly in the kitchen itself. Right back here is the bed. The bed is 54 inches wide, so a little bit narrower than a queen. However, it is the full 80 inches long, which I certainly appreciate. And you will as well if you're a taller person, that way your feet aren't hanging off the bed in here. You'll notice the thermostat on the wall. Pretty uh, simple and easy to use. Now that is just for the heat. This one does have a roof mounted AC unit, but the controls for that are on that unit itself. You also will notice the two windows lets in a lot of natural light, uh, you know, and also it lets you enjoy views. If you have a nice view out the back, they have a pretty big window right there. Storage all the way across the top, including the double cubby holes right here, LED lights throughout as well. You also notice the vents up top, which is great. So that way if you don't want to run the AC, you want to open some windows up and just have airflow, you can do that. And then your privacy um, curtain right here. So if you have additional guests, just gives you a little extra privacy at night. Right in the back is the bathroom. You'll see right up top here, you have your robe hooks. Great place to hang your towels. And we do step in, foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl there, folks. Uh, great thing about porcelain is it's a lot easier to clean. When I sit in here, you can, you'll can you notice plenty of leg room right there. Uh, it is a little bit tight in the shoulders, but I'm pretty wide in the shoulders as well. And uh, you know, honestly, I've been in much tighter spaces. I think this would do just fine. You'll see your uh, stainless steel countertop right here. You also, over to the side, have an electrical outlet, and then you will see your toilet paper holder right there. It's already built in, easy to get at. Underneath, some additional storage as well as plumbing access. Right up above is the mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see the storage there. Vent fan up top, of course, and then right back here is the shower. I'll step in here just to kind of give you an idea of size. I am six foot. You can see without the skylight, my head does hit right here, but the skylight gives you plenty of room. So, you know, if you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you can still stand underneath this skylight and be able to use the shower. Now, it's not a massive shower, so, you know, you're not going to be dancing in here, but it certainly is big enough to get the job done. 
When we take a step back out, we'll look over here. One thing that I do like, you'll notice, is this uh, is a magnetic door, so you don't have to worry about this flying open and hitting anything. It does lock right down there, which is pretty great. And then we open this up, you will notice the mirrored wardrobe hanging rod going all the way across. So there is certainly plenty of uh, place to hang your clothes up there. Storage right here underneath, direct vent furnace right next to that. If we take a look a little bit further back up here, you see the Dream Dinette, 76 inch dinette. So when you do drop this down into a bed, again, you have that 76 inch length, which is awesome. This is uh, great. This is obviously, you know, the probably the preferable seat to be in as you travel. You have two seatbelts over here for the riders. You'll also notice cup holders there. Uh, but again, this is a wonderful spot to be able to sit out, hang out, play games with the family, eat meals together, all those things that you want to do. Right over here, this side has storage. Open that up for you. So you can take a look. Super easy access. That just pulls right out. Big window here as well. So if you have, again, a nice view out there, can certainly enjoy it. Also lets a ton of natural light in. LED lights and speakers right up top here. Those are connected to that front dash system. So whatever you're playing uh, on the front dash, it'll play right through those speakers. As I showed you earlier, anything that uh, is uh, top opening like this, you have the struts on there. And this, of course, has them on both sides, a little bit heavier door. But that way, it's just easy one-hand access. Taking a look up front, this is one of my favorite parts about the Freedom Elite. And that is because this cab over bed right here, folks, has a 500 pound weight capacity. You can see that right there. Most of the manufacturers have about 300 to 350. That is not the case. You do get the full 500 here. That way two adults can comfortably sleep uh, up top. Also, if you don't have any adults or anyone that's gonna be using this space, you can remove all these cushions and this is just a big open storage space. So, uh, you know, you can take all the cushions out, leave them at home and you know, put whatever else you need to up there. Obviously, you see the ladder right there in the back. You also have some cup holders, dual USB with a net right here. So that way, if you're sleeping up here, you need to charge your cell phone. Great, plug it in right there, drop it right in the net. And you have uh, easy access to it at night. Swing arm TV up top here as well. So that way you can, uh, you know, swing that out and around. So you're able to watch it from the dinette. If you, you know, want to lay up here and watch it, if you're sleeping up there, by all means, you can keep it right at the foot of the bed as well. If we take a quick look underneath the chassis here, so the 22HE is the only Freedom Elite that is available on a Chevy chassis, which is what we have right here. We'll talk a little bit uh, more about that when we go outside. But as you can see, you know, I mean, it's, it still has uh, plenty of space. It's pretty easy to get up into the driver or passenger seats. You have three cup holders right there as well. Uh, as far as sitting in this space, you know, it's all going to depend on how tall you are. Some people like the Chevy a little more, some don't. Um, I, you know, the only complaint that I, I ever really get is this right here. You know, if, if you're if you're really a tall person, you might uh, kind of bonk your head a little bit or, or have it rub a little bit right there. But again, uh, you know, as with anything, I recommend sitting in it to see which one you like better. But uh, the Chevy chassis works great. You see the center dash right there. That is your backup camera as well. So if you put it in reverse, obviously you'll see what's behind you. Thermostat controls are there. You have your HDMI as well as a USB charger there too. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Freedom Elite 22HE. As I mentioned inside, folks, this one is built on the Chevy chassis, which houses the 6-liter Vortec V8 engine, putting out 323 horsepower and 373 foot-pounds of torque. The 22HE is also available on the Ford chassis if you so choose. That one, of course, houses your Triton V10, putting out 305 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. If you take a look right up top, you will see this one has your fiberglass front cap on there, which is not only gorgeous, also helps with some of your water runoff, less chance to have any water get in there, and also it gives you a little added insulation right up front as well, plus it's easier to clean all the bugs and everything off of there. Your mirrors come out uh, to extend beyond the home portion. You have, you have the, uh, the by view mirrors there, so that way you can kind of help cover your blind spots a little bit. The, this one is uh, all white, which is great. It helps blend in with the chassis. You'll see it's all the same color. Plus, it helps with uh, you know when it's sunny out. When it's hot, helps not be nearly as uh, hot inside the coach. You get those darker colors, you know some of the grays, things like that, and it really heats up. Not at all an issue on the 22HE here. Power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Also has the LED light strip up top there, so you have easy access to light at night. Grab handle to get inside the RV here. 
right down below is your propane. You can see that right there, easy to access, easy to fill. Making our way back a little bit. <clears throat> right here you will see your electrical outlets. So again, easy access to those. And then massive storage. This is one of my favorite parts about this floor plan. One of the things that I think make it a great tailgater, as I mentioned, you don't have any of the slides to worry about. So even if you're in a small space, you're not gonna have to worry about encroaching anyone else's. And you get this big storage area right back here. So you have enough room here for your chairs, your grill. You know, if you have cornhole boards you need to fit in there, you can put them in this class C. So I really love it for that purpose. Coming around to the back real quick, you will notice this one has a rear mounted ladder. So it is quick and easy to climb up onto the roof up top. Uh, one piece TPO roof up there as well. So that way you don't have the chalking and everything coming down the side, a lot less maintenance. You'll see your built in bumper right here with the end cap. So you can store your sewer hose right in there. Dropping down underneath, it's a little tough to see. We're pretty close here, but this one also has an 8,000 pound hitch. Now, as I mentioned, you know, this one is built on the Chevy chassis, a little bit smaller engine with the V8. Uh, you know, I don't recommend loading this thing up and trying to tow 8,000 pounds. If you plan on towing something a little bit heavier, pack a little bit lighter. You'll also see right up top in the center, this one has that rear backup camera. So that way, as soon as you put it in reverse, you can see what's behind you to make sure you're not going to hit anything. On the off door side, you'll see your city water inlet right here in the back, which is convenient because generally the post is back here as well. You'll also notice the black tank flush is right next door, so you can quickly and easily wash out that black tank. You don't have to stick a hose down your toilet. You just hook a hose up right here. That tank has sprayers built in. It'll wash it out for you. Cable inlet is going to be up a little ways. You'll also see your 30 amp power supply there. And if we drop down here, of course, fuel supply and right underneath that is access to your terminations. I like that they give you the little door right here. A lot of manufacturers, what they would do is they would drop the terminations really low, be, you know, underneath this sidewall so you can get down and access it. Instead, they keep it up a little bit higher so that way, you know, as you're going up grades, you know, coming into parking lots, you're not bottoming, bottoming out and hitting your termination. So they just made this cutout so you can reach in there and access it and again, still keep it tucked up and away. Moving up a little bit further here, you have the water heater right here. And if you drop down a little ways, that is access to the 4,000 watt generator. So that way you can power everything in the coach. And then right up in the very front is your fresh water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 22HE. If you're interested in this model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.